Sam, well, here's the uh, uh, program. I actually got it done, thankfully, and uh, it's pretty condensed right now. So uh, what we've got is I actually uh, I took I had to take an old Dell uh, computer that I had here and uh, upload the program to it. In fact, I actually uploaded a brand new copy of Windows XP on their professional. And then uh, what it is is that uh, the reason I took an old computer is because you have to have one of these, a serial port, uh, old style COM port, uh, COM1 port. Uh, can't be parallel, can't be USB. If you have a USB to, um, uh, USB to uh, an old traditional uh, RS-232 COM port, then that will work. But uh, anyway, uh, quite a hassle to get it because uh, um, all the computers I got, and I've got very few that actually have an active one that works. So anyway, uh, here's what we got. Um, put it on here. This is the Omran, uh, Omron uh, control software, and it also has a built-in simulator in there, although it's not got a built-in debugger. So this is the program. So I don't know. I'll uh, uh, kind of click through it. So hopefully this will actually see. Not very long program. I mean, it's only 27 lines long. So anyway, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually do just a quick uh, showing of what this is. We'll start up the simulator. And so here it is. Uh, all the sensors that are out there and then the on and off buttons here uh, are just, you know, these little uh, switches that you see here. And then on the outputs here, um, we've got a, um, a red light. This is your warning light. It's also the everything's off green light here, uh, even though both these will turn green. This is the green light which says it's on, the system's running. And then here's the three outputs for it. And if you look, here is the final system drawing that I have here. So uh, the system drawing, if you look at this really crude drawing, um, this is uh, the uh, small box conveyor, large box conveyor. Large box conveyor is not connected to the traffic cop, but the small box conveyor is. So um, this part here, you have to have a, uh, a one horsepower driver and it'll work. And then uh, here's the uh, outputs. Uh, we have a Q2, a Q0, and a Q1. So Q1 actually is what pushes this version of the conveyor up and it's large box transfer. Uh, Q0 is small box transfer. And Q2 is stopping the last two and a half feet. If you need to, you can actually tee off and do five feet or seven and a half feet, whatever. But that's the only control outputs that we've got. This is about as simple as you possibly can get and actually I'll still have it working. And then uh, the I3, 2, 3, 4, and 5, those are the banner sensors uh, where they're actually seeing things. So uh, what it's going to do is that uh, um, anytime you see one of those, if a box hits it, then it or, or blocks the beam, then it's actually going to stop it. So, and then here's all the timers that I put on there uh, for different things, and then all the sensors. So, uh, what it will do is I'll run it and I'll try and explain to you uh, what's happening here. So, uh, basically, uh, when I test it, uh, this is on. When this goes on, then we should see uh, one of the lights go. We're going to actually press run first. So, uh, when it goes run, then it has traffic cop system off. So. Uh, and you can see this is the red button, so that will mean that it is actually off. That red, the red light is actually uh, not only going to be off, but it also will be an error light. So if any of the sensors is blocked, uh, three of them for more than 10 seconds, or the um, uh, the stop box for the small box conveyor more than 30 seconds, uh, then it's going to flash on and off. So what I'm going to do is I'll just show you real quick. So. Um, I0 is actually the on button. It'll be a green button. So you push it and then it switches this to on and it says system on. So uh, that's running correctly. If you want to turn it off, uh, which it will not stop the conveyors, but it will stop the transfers uh, and all the, the sensors. So if you push this button, which will be I2, then everything turns off. You can see system off and the light turns. So let's turn it on again. Okay, so here's on and then uh, uh, I2, if the I2 box, uh, if you remember, this is the uh, small box transfer on here. So I2, if that's on, then you should see two of these lights go on for so the Q0 and the Q1 to transfer those things off. So what we'll do is we will just uh, kind of hit that real quick. And so these two lights came on. One is for the uh, small box transfer and one's for the large box transfer. They have an off delay of one second, which allows the box to actually creep down a little bit further onto it uh, by one more foot. 
and then uh, uh, on delay uh, so that it'll actually in three and a half seconds it transfers everything off. So uh, that's I2. I3 is a sensor for your large box sensor right here. And so the I3, when that goes on, it gives a 10 second window so that if there's anything's in here <clears throat> within the 10 seconds, then <clears throat> it's going to stop. So when a large box comes in onto the conveyor, then the 10 second rule says that uh, everything's on here should be able to be transferred off of there. So what that will do is that if there is a small box that hits this sensor here, which is um, I5, uh, within that time, then it's actually going to turn on this Q2 uh, stop the motor. So you will see Q2 turn on. So what we'll do is we'll trigger I3 real quick, which won't do anything. You'll just see a little flash and all that. Um, and then when I hit uh, I5, um, then you will see that light go on just for a second or two. Because um, if I do it again, so we'll do I3, then we hold I5. It's going to hold that light on there, which is actually a solenoid that stops the small box for about 10 seconds. And then in 10 seconds, this thing will actually turn off again even if there's a box there, and then that box will move on. And then uh, next up will be, um, we did I2, I5. I4 um, is and I6 are kind of in conjunction with each other. So I6 is actually the uh, right takeoff switch. So I actually added that on here. So uh, when that is on, it is going to shoot the boxes totally off the side of this conveyor and onto a side conveyor that needs to be there. So... Uh, you'll see a gate in a little bit. It's kind of noisy out there, especially when the conveyor gets turned on. But uh, um, anyway, once you get that, then I6, you won't actually see I6 do anything. I mean, it's down there on the thing, but since it doesn't allow you to actually hold it on there very long, it won't do anything. But um, that's what I4 and I6 will do. So I4, um, when it turns on, then you can actually get it so that it actually turn on uh, the light for Q1 and it'll knock it off. So anyway, so that's the simplified program, and then I put on an error thing here so that if any two, three, or four, I think it's two, three, or four, uh, uh, are on more than uh, 10 seconds, so I'll push it, then you're gonna see that uh, the Q4 light that's right next to the green light is gonna start flashing. So in a second here, you'll start to see it go on and off. Yeah, there it is. So. You'll see that. That's actually will be the red light warning light that says, hey, something's on there that shouldn't. You've probably got a box jam. And then same with here. So if I3 is on there for more than a second or two, see that turns off because those are saying that it's powered up. It's trying to get rid of the boxes, but something happened to block that sensor. So this is going to be the red light again. And so if I3 is on there for more than 10 seconds, so you can count it down if you want to, then that thing will start flashing one second on, one second off to say, hey, there's a you know, there's a problem. So, uh, yep, so there it goes again. So the red light will be flashing. You can see it from a pretty good distance. And then here's I4, same deal. Uh, if that sensor, uh, which is the uh, large box transfer sensor is stuck, there's a box stuck on there, then that red light's just gonna go off and on. Uh, you know, so there's that. And then same deal with I5. Um, you know, I5 is the small box um, stop here. I figure 30 seconds should be more than enough. If anything's there for more than 30 seconds, you got either a large uh, number of large boxes that are back to back. Um, but uh, anyway, so if this is on there for 30 seconds, then it's actually going to uh, start flashing. So I don't know if you want to watch it 30 seconds or not. But uh, anyway, but that's pretty much it. So we got some safety stuff in there to tell you there's a box jam that it senses it. It will not stop any of the conveyors because we don't have it hooked up to any of the uh, contactors in the conveyors. Um, so the conveyors will actually, the motors and all that will last longer by not turning them on and off. But uh, uh, anyway, here in 30 seconds, that thing should actually start uh, timing out. Okay, there it is. There's 30 seconds worth. Of red light would be flashing on and off. Even though the green light right next to it's on, uh, it tells you there's an error. You need to see it. The minute you stop the box being blocked, whichever block box is blocking any of these four, uh, then you can see that the red light will automatically go off. You don't need to reset it or anything with a, a switch. So um, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And then uh, next up is the video hopefully showing this thing uploaded onto the computer outside in the shop and uh, it working.